In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys five tips in CapCut PC that are useful and some will save you a lot of time in your editing process. All right guys, let's get started. And today's video is sponsored by my homies on Patreon. This is where you add transitions to test, but you don't want the transition to affect the video below it. So we already have the video in the timeline. Let's go to text on the left side, drag the four test, and then we want to add one more text. So let's make a duplicate, press option and drag to this side. Let me change the name of this. So now I want to add some transitions to this very test and with CapCut, you cannot add it directly to test. So this is what we're going to do. Make a compound clip of this very test. Click on that option G to make a compound clip. Let's make the same on this side. Click on that option G. Now before we continue, let's click anywhere in the timeline. Click on modify. Let's turn on arrange layers. Make sure it's turned on and then click on save. So now I want to add transitions in the middle of this. Go to the left side, click on transitions. So I'm going to select this pin clockwise, drag and drop in between them. And now when you look at it, when I play, you can see it's affecting the video too. But sometimes we just want it to affect only the text. And this is the trick we're going to do. Now I'm just going to make a cut on this very side. Click on this video, command B to make a cut there. Take my player to this side to command B to make a cut. Now go to this side, make sure you turn off this magnet track. And this is what that means. Let me lift this and show you guys. You can see these videos are going to stay exactly where they are. Command Z to go back and show you guys when it's on. When I move it, you can see it's going to snap. So with this effect that we want to do, we want to turn it off for now so we can achieve the effect. Now command Z and let's turn it off. So now with this, drag it from the timeline and we're going to drag this very text with the animation in the main timeline. Now click on the video, go to the right side on blend mode, then click on screen. So now you can see the animation is just going to affect the text without affecting the video. This is similar to the previous one, but this time around, we add the effect to the compound clip directly. So with this, we have the video in the timeline. Go to text, drag the full text in the timeline. And now we want to add some effects to this very test. When we go to effect and we drag, we cannot add it directly to it. It's going to stay only on top and that's also going to affect the video and we don't want that. So this is how we're going to do that. Let's delete the effect. Create a compound clip of the text. Option G. Then now go to the effect and then we can easily drag and drop it on that very compound clip. And CapCut is going to identify it as a video file. So now when I play and show you guys, it's only going to affect the text without affecting the video too. This is when you've done animations and all adjustments to an image in the timeline, but along the way you wanted to change that very image without losing that animations with it. This is an image I'm going to drag and drop in the timeline. Let me make it small. So I'm just going to add a random animation to this very image. Just click on that. Go to animations and I'm going to select in, slide right and also go to out and I'm going to add some animation to it, slide right. Now let me just add some keyframes to it to just to show you guys exactly how it is. Click on that, make a keyframe on position and scale. Let's go somewhere here, make another one. Let's increase the size of it and move it here. So now when I play and show you guys, some random animations now along the line i'm not happy with this image i want to change it and the same time i want to have these animations on that this is the trick let's click on this very one i want to use mr beast or let's say i want to use this just drag and drop on the image itself or the video itself and it's going to give you this pop-up window saying if you want to replace the clip make sure you have this turn on so it's going to have 
all the effect from the video already in the timeline when it's off it's just going to replace it without having the animations so with this i'm just going to leave it on and then click on replace clip so now when i play and show you guys you can see it having the same animations on that before we continue i realize majority of you are not subscribed to this very channel when i check my youtube analytics so if you're learning something from this or if you're enjoying this don't forget to hit the like and also subscribe to see more videos like this all right guys let's go back to it this is going to save you a lot of time when it comes to editing. So these are five images in a timeline and I want to stretch them at the same time. Instead of doing it individually, like just like this, this is going to take you so much time. What I can do is just select all the ones that I want to stretch at the same time. And then I can click anywhere on this side and it's going to go together. So if I want to reduce the length of it, I can do that. Also from the beginning, I can do that. If the very file is having enough frame on that very side and this is going to save you lots of time CapCut PC only identify video files when it comes to adding motion blur. So with this, we're going to play this trick with the images when it comes to motion blur. So with this, let's say I'm going to add animations to this very image. So I'm just going to click on that, make a keyframe on position, then go somewhere here and make another keyframe on position then i can just move it to this very side so it's just going to have a random animation and now i just want to add motion blur to it so when it's moving it's going to look like it has this blur on that very side but when i go to the right side it's not going to have a motion blur because it's an image and this we need to make it look like a video file when it comes to cup cut so just like this click on that option g convert it into compound clip and now when we go to the right side we can get access to motion blur just click on that and with this i'm just gonna leave it at 100 and now when i play and show you guys you can see when you go somewhere here it's having the motion blur on that very image you can reduce the motion blur strength if it's too much for you now you can click on this video to check five more tips that's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to editing in CapCut pc catch you guys on the next one peace